Networking and marketing made simple is for you, the business owner who has a product, a service, or a message that you believe in. My name is Scott Aaron, and each week we'll take a behind the scenes look into the real world marketing and networking tactics and strategies for getting what you have in front of you to a lot more people. Thanks for spending time with me. And now let's get started. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Networking and Marketing Made Simple. Super stoked for today's episode because it's something that everyone has been asking for a while, and I've gotten a lot of messages about this on social media, and it's really the the best ways to organically grow your network on LinkedIn without any slimy tactics or any automation that could be hurting your experience on there. And this is something that that I get asked often. And I really felt that it was just appropriate to kind of put out there some three basic things that you can do to organically grow your network on LinkedIn. So let's get right into this. Number one, when you're growing your network on LinkedIn, you have to be super mindful, super mindful that they fit into one of two buckets. Bucket A is, are they a potential client, customer, and business partner? Are they someone that you are looking to connect with? Your mirror image. You don't want to just blindly send connections to anyone and everyone. So you really have to think about, who is my ideal client? Who is my ideal business partner or customer or person that could benefit most from what I provide with what I do. So as long as they fit into that bucket, it's okay to connect with them because they're going to see a relation in you and them that is going to more organically play to them accepting that connection, which could lead to conversation later on down the road. Bucket B, the second bucket, is making sure that they fit into the power partner bucket. Now, what's a power partner? A power partner is your network liaison. That person that is the quote-unquote middleman or middlewoman who is going to do an introduction or you're going to do an introduction for someone that you can do a podcast swap with someone that can feature you in an online event or vice versa, or you can do a LinkedIn video interview, a LinkedIn live interview. Anyone that you feel you have a business commonality with where you could be of a support to one another by introducing each other to your own individual networks, which is going to expand your connections. Every time you get onto someone else's podcast, it's an introduction to their network and vice versa. Every time you're featured in an event of someone in your network, that's an opportunity to plug into that person's network. Every time you do a LinkedIn live interview and you're interviewed on that person's feed, that's another way to get access and exposure to that person's network. So as long as you're focusing on those two connection buckets, client or customer, ideal client or customer, and that power partner bucket, your network will organically grow. Number two, make sure you provide value added content at least three times per week in three different ways. Now, There are five ways of how I provide content, and I'm going to go over those five with you right now, and you can choose any one of those three, but you need to do a variation of those five in three different ways, three days per week. The way that you build the know, like, and trust factor is providing content that's value added. No one buys anything from anyone they don't like. They don't know, and they don't trust. You have to build that know, like, and trust. That's your job. So making sure that you take the time to do that 
is going only going to increase your ability to grow your network. So three days per week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, at a bare minimum. Three different types of content, and there are five. Number one, a post. It could be educational. It could be informative. It could be a motivational quote with some of your own zhuzh, as my wife says, to it. Number two, an article, long form post. And why articles are important is because they actually show up on Google, Yahoo, and Bing as searchable content, which will lead external people that are using those search engines onto your LinkedIn profile. Number three, video content, my favorite. Love it. It's my go-to. If there's anything that I would deem most important, it would be video content. But making sure that it's value added and it's educational and informative and you're not pitching and selling. You're educating your audience. You're informing your audience. Number four, discussions in groups. Great way to build rapport in a group that is of like-minded individuals as yourself. So make sure you're joining groups that you have a commonality with where if you shared some value-added content, they would engage or at least check out your profile to further the connection and future relationship. Number five, also one of my favorites, a poll. I do a poll every Saturday and I run them for a week because I want to get data and market research on what my network is struggling with what they don't like, what they like, what do they want to see more of? So I can ask a question to my network in the form of a poll, which gives me the market research data where I can then go back later and do content based around an area that they struggle or something they're looking to improve or something they don't like. So you have to ASK to GET. You have to ask in order to get. So really make sure that you're doing Three of those five things, three days a week. So Monday, you could do a video. Wednesday, you can do a poll. Friday, you could do a post. Anything you want. Just make sure that you are providing value-added content at least three times per week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, in three different ways. Post, video, article, discussion in group, or a poll question. Number three, the third way to organically build your network on LinkedIn. Make sure you take the time to engage one time per day in someone else's content that fits into one of your connection buckets. So is it an ideal client or potential customer? Are they a power partner? Now, there's a lot of people that I engage with on LinkedIn, a lot of podcasters I engage with because they bring great guests. So what The importance of that is, is if you actually take the time to engage with those individuals, number one, it fosters and builds the relationship because you're taking the time to support them. Number two, if you're adding value added content to their value added content that they posted, LinkedIn will recognize that as a relevant comment, which puts you at the very top of all the comments that are there which will give you more organic visibility and reach, but also will direct people more to your profile to build your network externally. So there is so much power in taking the time to engage one time per day. That's it. Not 18 times a day. One person a day engage in someone else's content that fits into one of those connection buckets that we spoke about in tip one, client or customer or power partner. These three things done consistently on LinkedIn will 100% organically grow your network without cheating any slimy or really, really sleazy connection tactics. This is a great way to do it. Make sure if you're going to send connections, they fit into one of those two connection buckets. Make sure you provide value added content at least three times per week three different ways of the five that I mentioned, and make sure you take the time to engage one time per day in someone else's content that fits into your connection buckets. As an added bonus, I do have a free community on Facebook. It's called LinkedIn Leads for Life. I do private trainings in there as well. I'm going to leave the link for you guys to join the group 
close to 2000 people now in this group. It's an amazing and incredible community of entrepreneurs that are looking to up-level themselves. And there's content delivered every single day in that community to better your experience on LinkedIn. So I'll leave the link in the description of this. Definitely join. And I hope to see you there. So everyone, please enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much again for checking out today's episode. And if you are listening through iTunes, Spotify, wherever you are, please leave me a rating and review. Let me know what you loved, what you would like to see improved, or ideas you have for future episodes. And if you are interested in taking your business to the next level, don't hesitate to go to my website, www.scotterron.net where you can schedule a free discovery call with me, where I can learn more about you, your business, what you're struggling with, and how we can work together. And don't forget to check out my wife, Nancy, and mine, our free community on Facebook called LinkedIn Leads for Life. We would love to see you in there. Have a great rest of your day. And thank you, everyone, for your support. Grateful for each and every one of you.